your saving power among the nations. <laughs> Page 215. 250. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It's not like we're live to the world. There we go. Oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let your ways be known upon earth. Your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, your only son was lifted up that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross and always be ready to share its weight, declaring your love for all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. So let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 73. Now I'm on the wrong page. There we go. Truly, God is loving to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. Nevertheless, my feet were almost gone, my steps had well on my spirit. For I was envious of the proud. I saw the wicked in such prosperity. They come to no misfortune like other folk, nor are they plagued as others are. Their iniquity comes from within. The conceits of their hearts overflow. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue ranges around the earth. They say, how should God know? Is there knowledge in the Most High? Is it in vain that I cleansed my heart and washed my hands in innocence? If I had said, I will speak as they do, I should have betrayed the generation of your children. Then thought I to understand this, but it was too hard for me. Until I entered the sanctuary of God and understood the end of the wicked. How you set them in stupid places, you cast them down to destruction. How suddenly do they come to destruction, perish and come to a fearful end. As the dream when one awakes, so, Lord, when you were asked, you would despise their image. When my heart became embittered, and I was pierced to the quick. I was but foolish and ignorant. I was like a brute beast in your presence. Yet I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is nothing upon earth that I desire in comparison with you. Truly, those who forsake you will perish. You will put to silence the faithless who betray you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading is taken from Exodus chapter 8, verses 1 to 19. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and say to him, Thus says the Lord, Let my people go, so that they may worship me. 
If you refuse to let them go, I will plague your whole country with frogs. The river shall swarm with frogs. They shall come up into your palace, into your bedchamber and your bed, into houses of your officials and your people, into your ovens, your kneading bowls. The frogs shall come on you and your people, on all your officials. And the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Stretch out your hands with your staff over the rivers, the canals, the pools, and make the frogs come up on the land of Egypt. So Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. But the magicians did the same by their secret acts and brought frogs on, on the land of Egypt. Yeah. Then Pharaoh called Moses and Aaron and said, Pray to the Lord to take away the frogs from me and my people, and I will let the people go to sacrifice to the Lord. Moses said to Pharaoh, Kindly tell me when I am to pray for you and your officials and for your people, that the frogs may be removed from you and your houses be left only in the Nile. And he said, Tomorrow, Moses said, As you say, so that you may know that there is no one like the Lord our God. The frogs shall leave you and your houses and your officials and your people. They shall be left only in the Nile. Then Moses and Aaron went out from Pharaoh. And Moses cried out to the Lord concerning the frogs that he had brought upon Pharaoh. And the Lord did as Moses requested. Frogs died in the houses, the courtyards, and the fields, and they gathered them up together in heaps, and the land stank. But when Pharaoh saw that there was a respite, he hardened his heart and would not listen to them, just as the Lord had said. Then the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Stretch out your staff and strike the dust of the earth, so that it may be come gnats throughout the whole land of Egypt. And they did so. Aaron stretched out his hand and his staff and struck the dust of the earth. And the gnats came on humans and animals alike. All the dust of the earth turned into gnats throughout the whole land of Egypt. The magicians tried to produce gnats, but their secret acts, but they could not. There were gnats on both humans and animals. Okay. Oh, give us one more verse, just round that bit off, why not? And the magician said to Pharaoh, This is the finger of God. But Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he would not listen to them, just as the Lord had said. Considered you suffered for the Christ. To be greater wealth 
than the treasures of Egypt, for he was looking ahead to the reward. By faith he left Egypt, unafraid of the king's anger, for he persevered as though he saw him who is, is invisible. By faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, so that the destroyer of the firstborn would not touch the firstborn of Israel. By faith, the people passed through the Red Sea as if it were dry land, but when the Egyptians attempted to do so, they were drowned. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell after they had been encircled for seven days. By faith, Rahab, the prost prostitute, did not perish with those who were disobedient, for she had received the spies in peace. Page 253, the bottom half of the page for the responsory. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. We preach Christ crucified, the power of God and the wisdom of God. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. God forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to those who are being saved, it is the power of God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Amen. The word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to those who are being saved, it is the power of God. So we pray for this day, the world and the church. I'll be using this structure on page 381 if you want to follow it. There's no need to, but that's where it can be found. With faith and love and in union with Christ, let us offer our prayer before the throne of grace. Have mercy on your people, O God, for whom your Son laid down his life. Father, we give you thanks that you showed us what love meant in coming to earth, in living amongst us and in dying for us. And so we pray for all those who today join you in your sufferings for those who put their lives at risk for the good and service of others. We pray for our emergency services, for the armed forces of the world, for passers-by who happen to reach out their hands in aid. We pray your protection upon them this day, your saving hand to those whom they seek to help. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bring healing and wholeness to people and nations, and have pity on those torn apart by division. God of peace and justice, we pray for the people of Ukraine, Russia, and all war-torn countries today. We pray for peace and the laying down of weapons. We pray for all those who fear for tomorrow, that your spirit of comfort would draw near to them. We pray for those with power over war or peace, for wisdom, discernment, and compassion to guide their decisions. 
Above all, we pray for all your precious children, at risk and in fear, that you would hold and protect them. We pray in the name of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear Amen. our prayer. Strengthen all who are persecuted for your name's sake and deliver them from evil. We pray for all those who are imprisoned and tortured or even face execution today for their faith. We pray that you would draw close to them, that you would reveal to them the hope of the resurrection and the glories of heaven, that you would bring to them comfort, peace and even joy. And we pray too for those who witness to you in our country, that we face far minor persecutions. We pray still for the courage to speak out when we fear that we might be mocked or rejected. And we pray that we would accept that as the cost of sharing and growing your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Look in mercy upon all who suffer, and hear those who cry out in pain and desolation. Bring comfort to the dying, and gladden their hearts with the vision of your glory. We pray for those we know who are suffering this day, and we name them in your presence, either in the silence of our hearts or out loud. Rest your holy hand upon them, we pray, O God. Surround them and minister to them by your angels. Pour your healing spirit into them, that they may be restored to the abundance of life that is your promise in Christ Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give rest to the departed and bring them with your saints to glory everlasting. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Standing at the foot of the cross, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. You're very welcome. Thank you all.